Now look at the device here that was apparently sent to the offices of Eric Holder. And then we were told subsequently returned to Debbie Wasserman Schultz as she is listed as the return address on the envelope. Take a look at the device. There's an ISIS flag stuck on there. And what appears to be to the right of that a man's face looking in profile to his right, the left side of his face. I cannot make out who this individual is. The picture is not very good quality. But what you can tell is by looking at the envelope itself, take a good look here, there are six stamps. We're told this was mailed. Right? We're told this was mailed to the offices of Eric Holder and then returned to the offices of Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Look at the postage stamps, folks. Look at them. They've not been marked as, as processed. When you send a piece of mail through the U.S. Postal Service, okay, they stamp the stamps to indicate that it has been processed. Those stamps have not been processed. Right? You can take a look at any piece of mail that you receive. So this piece of mail has not been processed. Okay, and it definitely, either way, since, again, we're told it went somewhere and then returned. So let me tell you what this is about. It's very simple. Okay? This is self-sabotage. On part of the Democrat Party, it is self-sabotage to ensure that Donald Trump and his stupid ilk remain in power in the come-up elections, November. And it's self-sabotage so that those people who do continue to run the Republican Party into the ground, who had more wheelings and dealings with Russia. The Clintons, who had more wheelings and dealings with the Saudis. The Clintons, who voluntarily just gave up her own security clearance just before this journalist Khashoggi disappeared. Hillary Clinton. Self-sabotage on part of the Democrats to ensure that the people who are in the Republican Party of the ilk, the sort of people that are like Donald Trump, continue to gain office so that those people can run the Republican Party into the ground. And I mean into the ground, not whatever concepts you have where it already is. See, you can't have a single party system within a state based on socialism with two fraudulent parties. One party is ensuring that a certain group of people stay within the other party. Self-sabotage on both ends. 